What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can install Linux Mint operating system in Windows 11 using the VirtualBox application and run Linux Mint over the Windows operating system. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. So guys, first of all, what you need to do, you have to download the VirtualBox application and install it on your computer. Then you need to download the Linux Mint ISO file. So let me guide you from where you can download all of those files. So open up any of your browser, then search in Google VirtualBox. Then go to this first website, virtualbox.org. Then click on this download button. Now from this list, click on Windows Host to download the VirtualBox 7.1.8 for your Windows operating system. If you use other operating system as the host like Mac OS or Linux, you can use all of those links. I had already downloaded the VirtualBox application and installed it on my computer. And after downloading the VirtualBox, you have to also download this VirtualBox extension pack. Just click on accept and download and it should start downloading. If I open my Virtual Manager or VirtualBox Manager, here you can see this is my Oracle VirtualBox Manager and here I have couple of Linux operating system and one Windows operating system as a virtual machine. So now let me show you how you can download the Linux Mint or from where you can download the Linux Mint. So again get back to your browser, take another tab and search for Linux Mint. Then go to this website linuxmint.com then click on this download button and it will redirect you to this page. Now Linux Mint is available in couple of variant like Cinnamon Edition, XFC Edition and Mate. I'll suggest you if you are a beginner download this Cinnamon Edition. It's well finished and very stable. I had already downloaded the ISO file of the Cinnamon Edition. Just click on this download button then it will redirect you to this page. Scroll down and from all of this list search your nearest location server. In my case, it's Bangladesh. So I use this link to download the Linux Mint ISO file. If I go to my downloads folder, here you can see I have the Linux Mint ISO file. Now let me guide you how you can install the Linux Mint as a virtual machine in your Windows 11 computer. Now first of all, install the VirtualBox Manager in your computer, then open it. Then on your VirtualBox Manager, click on this new button. Then name it as Linux Mint. Click on ISO image, click on other, then go to your downloads folder and select the Linux Mint ISO file. Then click on open. Make sure the subtype is Ubuntu and version is Ubuntu 64 bit. Keep it at default. Then go to hardware. Give a virtual RAM size for your Linux Mint virtual machine. I'm going to give it 4 GB and 2 CPU core. Then go to hard disk and give a hard disk size for the Linux Mint virtual machine. Here I am going to give 80 GB. If you get any of this unattended installation error, go to that tab and here you can set a user for your Linux. Here I am going to type VB Mint. Then give a password. Then again give the password. Give the Linux Mint host name. Make sure to remove the space from the host name. Then click on finish. Now I am going to increase the video memory to 256. Also I am going to click on settings. Then go to network. And set the network adapter to bridge adapter. Then click on ok. Then start the virtual machine. Here you can see the virtual machine has been started. If it asks you for the ISO file, click here and select the Linux Mint ISO file again. Then click on mount and retry boot. Now here you can see the Linux Mint. Now from this group bit menu of Linux Mint, select the start Linux Mint and press enter. Now your virtual machine should boot from the Linux Mint ISO file. Ok, so guys here you can see Linux Mint has been successfully booted from the ISO file in our virtual machine. Now right click on your desktop. Click on display setting and set the resolution. Here I am going to set it 9020 into 1080. Also you can increase it if you want. I am going to set it 9020 to 1080 full HD. Then click on apply. 
Okay. Now this operating system is running from the ISO file as a live Linux operating system. We did not install this operating system in our virtual machine hard drive. So to install it, here you can see there is a logo called install Linux Mint. Right click on it, then click on open. Here you can see the installer has been started. Now from this page, select a language for your Linux operating system. Here I am going to select English, then click on continue. Then select the keyboard layout, then continue. Make sure to select install multimedia codec, then click on continue. Now from here, select erase disk and install Linux Mint, then click on install now. It's going to automatically create partition to your virtual box hard drive. Here you can see it create these two partition, ESP and EXT4. Click on continue, select your location, then click on continue. Now from here, you have to create a user account for your Linux Mint. Type here your name. Here I am going to type Nidhi Shakil. You can see here computer name is automatically created. Pick a username from here. Here is the username. Now type a password. Then click on continue. Now it should start installing this Linux Mint operating system in your virtual box hard drive. It's going to take some time. So you have to wait until the installation get completed. Okay guys. So installation has been completed. Now if you want you can click on restart or continue testing. If you want to play around with Linux Mint, click on continue testing and you can play around using the Linux Mint before restarting your virtual machine. Now I am going to suggest you click here and close this virtual box window. Click on power of the machine then click on OK. Now again get back to your virtual box manager. Go to settings then storage and from here remove this Linux Mint ISO file, select it and click on this icon, then remove, then click on OK. Now you can start your Linux Mint virtual machine. Here you can see virtual machine is powering up and now Linux Mint should boot from the virtual box hard drive or the virtual machine hard drive. Here you can see it's booting and here is the login screen of Linux Mint. Type your password and guys here we have successfully installed Linux Mint in a virtual box. Now if we try to make it full screen, let's click here. Here you can see it's not getting full screen. Let's try the display setting and select the resolution and let's make it full HD. It increased the size but also didn't get the full screen. Now let's try another option and let me show you how you can make it full screen. Go to devices. Then click on insert guest edition CD image. If it show you can't mount image, click on this icon. Then power up the Linux Mint. Then again get back to your VBOX manager. Then go to settings. Go to storage. Click on this add optical drive. Select the VBOX guest edition ISO. Then click on choose. Then OK. Then again start the Linux Mint. Here is the login screen. Type your password. Then press enter to login. Then click on your file manager. And here you can see VBOX guest edition ISO image. Copy all of this file. Go to documents and paste it here. Now right click on your document folder. Open in terminal. Let's zoom in our terminal. If I type here ls. Here you can see we have couple of files in our documents whatever you copy it from the guest edition CD. Now just simply type here sudo app update and press enter then type your password then press enter then type here ls and here you will see a run package. Copy this name type here sudo chmod plus x then paste that name here then press enter. Now again type ls here you can see now this script color has been changed. That means we have successfully give execute permission to that script. Now just simply type here sudo dot slash then paste that name again and press enter and it's going to install the virtual box guest edition CD in your Linux main. It's going to take some time so you have to wait. Okay. Now close the terminal then click here. Now increase the size and now here you can see Linux Mint get bigger. Now let's make it full screen. 
and here you guys our linux mint is now full screen so guys like this you can easily install linux mint operating system into a virtual box and use it as a virtual machine in your windows 11 operating system so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm medi shakil you're watching this tech tutorial and i'm signing out